you big dog. We've done this trip for the last four years for different races. This time it's for six foot track. It always starts the same. It's 1,274 kilometers to Katoomba. That's 14 hours of sitting in the car, full of anticipation. We stop off in Albury for the night to break the trip up. I like it here, it's nice. Refuel, caffeine, drive. Six more hours to go. And finally, we're there. It's bloody good to be back. Got my bib, 4.04. Had a cool little uh, display there of the, the history of the race, which is, is like one of the reasons I've always wanted to do this race, just because it's, it's got one of the oldest histories of any trail race in Australia. When I think of like iconic Australian trail races, I think of Six Foot Track and uh, Bogong Dolphin. Here's the gear quickly, plain white VA shirt, Patagonia Strata Pros, Lone Peak 3s. These are the ones I got resold with light base at UTMB. I've been saving them because they're just insanely good. Uh, stance socks, got some compressed sport gloves just in case it's cold in the morning because I hate having cold hands. Still not sure if I'm gonna use a vest or a handheld. I'm leaning towards handheld, so I got that. Couple of gels and paleo bar, and then of course, silly hat and alpinamentes. So that's it, six foot track is done. Had a, uh, had a fun, enjoyable day and that was my only goal going into it because I knew I knew wasn't very fit, knew my preparation wasn't very good. I haven't ran further than 20 kilometers in nearly two months, so. But I ran 4.15, which I think, I don't know, I reckon that's pretty good considering where I'm at at the moment. And uh, yeah, it's an awesome race. Really well organized. Good, uh, the rural fire service does all the volunteering. It was just really well supported. It's not the most scenic of all the races up here, but it's just a really cool, uh, iconic race. I'm glad that I've done it. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty awesome day. I'm not even that buckled. Just uh, going for a cruise and looking at the mountains. So freaking good here.
What the hell, Thunderbird? Going to Cassiopeia for a coffee while we wait for Thunderbird to open. You uh, you can't get a bad coffee up here, seriously, but Cassiopeia is probably my favorite. I've had three months off injured, I only got back into running in January and I managed to equal my time from last year, so I'm pretty happy with that. It's cool. What time did you run? Uh, nine, four hours, 19.45. So, pretty close to Dan. And yeah, it was a really nice day out, perfect running conditions, really good. Perfect so, weather. Huh? Perfect weather. Oh yeah, it was amazing. Like, not getting too much sun until we came down the descent to Jolan Cave. It was a really nice run. Like, and just gorgeous up in the range, like Black Range in the fog was just really lovely. So yeah, we had a lot of fun. And like everyone, like Julie on Graham Simon, she got a PB by 30 seconds, you know. We all had pretty good runs, so we're all pretty happy. It's fun. Um, a lot of them are around 340. There's three or four that are under 340. My best is 337. Um, but since I turned 60, they've slowed down quite a bit. Running into Steve and Trevor was definitely a highlight of the trip and after Trevor very humbly answered all the questions I could throw at him, we were back to the car and headed for home, feeling inspired and for me, a little tired and sore. So after driving all day, we got back to Melbourne about 10 o'clock and decided to stay the night there. We spent the next morning having a look around the city. Mostly at things that I want but can't afford. And we drank more coffee. I feel like a complete yuppie and a traitor to the long black. This is a soy latte, but this is bloody good. And I ate more food. A few hours shopping in the city, more tiring than running six foot track. Got a, uh, a couple of things. Making videos is an expensive hobby. Better do the last four and a half hours driving home. Can't wait to get there. Looking forward to seeing Saji and sleeping in my own bed. I've slept like crap this entire trip. Can't do motel beds. Anyway, see you when we get there. Have you missed us? <laughs> All right, that's it. That's a wrap on the race, the trip, the video. I'm about to go to bed and just phew, I'm absolutely knackered. But it was a good trip. After thinking about the race on the drive home, I think I've got to be stoked on it. Like training was minimal at best. Got sick a few weeks out, and hopefully I'm nowhere near peak form. So considering all that, you know, it was a good day. I felt good. I had fun. Was in, I felt good mentally. That's always a massive positive, just being in a good headspace. So stoked on that. It was awesome to meet Steve, awesome to meet Trevor. I met a mate of Steve's as well at the finish line who also watches the videos. I'm sorry, I can't, can't remember your name. I'm bloody hopeless with names, seriously. But I uh, also met Nathan at the uh, Goldburn Olivers on the way home, which is cool. And uh, yeah, thanks thanks for all the support. You know, like, just comments on Instagram, Strava, YouTube, it's crazy. I feel like I don't even, I don't deserve it, but uh, definitely none of it goes unnoticed and I appreciate all of it. I hope the video ends up turning out all right. It's always, it's hard to make these just traveling in general, but especially for a race because you kind of got to switch off and focus. So they end up being sort of like a jigsaw to put them together. So hopefully it's somewhat coherent. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know if it sucked. And uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.